The 14 United States Marine Corps leadership traits are qualities of thought and action which, if demonstrated in daily activities, help Marines earn the respect, confidence, and loyal cooperation of other Marines. It is extremely important that Marines understand the meaning of each leadership trait and how to develop it so each Marine knows what goals to set as he or she works to become a good leader and follower. We don't care where you came from, we don't care what color you are, all recruits are treated the same way and given the same chances as well. The ability to be able to treat other people fairly, firmly, and with justice, that's something that you learn in the Marine Corps. It's a trait that you're exercising and being put to the test on, on a day-to-day -day basis. It's crucial to the morale of a unit that justice is exhibited by the leader of that unit, whether it's the equal opportunity policy that we have or choosing exactly who's going to be going on what mission. During my most recent deployment, I was interacting on a daily basis with local Iraqi officials, tribal leaders, resolving many local disputes and improving the local infrastructure. It taught me conflict resolution and understanding group dynamics. Justice is required to enforce discipline to make sure that everybody's being treated equally, that discipline is being kept throughout the unit. My job in the courtroom is to make sure that you are innocent until proven guilty, that you're, you're not treated unfairly in that respect. I've never met a Marine or even a civilian that minded being treated firmly if it was fairly. Judgment is incredibly important in the Marine Corps because Marines rely on you to make life-saving decisions. The most junior Marine needs to make important decisions throughout his Marine Corps career and especially in combat. We want Marines to be able to make the right decision at the right time. It's vital to possess judgment as a leader of Marines. Day in and day out, you have Marines' lives in your hands, and you have to be able to make the correct judgments, or at least make the best judgment that you can with whatever information is available to you. You assign one, one mission, and you accomplish it, and then you find out, hey, you could have done it a better way. So the next time it comes up, your judgment is a lot better. Showing good judgment is something uh, that Marines are trained to do in any situation, whether it be a family situation at home or when they're deployed overseas. People want the challenge of becoming a Marine, and I have to always exercise judgment in front of these young men and women because they look at me as the Marine Corps. Growing up, didn't really know what I wanted to do, made bad calls. Being in the Marine Corps has definitely put me on the right track to doing what's right. When you take a young person and you give them that type of training, uh, those type of opportunities, it's inevitable. They're going to come back to society as better citizens. In my mind, dependability is the most important of the traits because it's the basis upon which the rest is built. As a Marine, it's important to have dependability so that your Marines and your senior leadership know, even in times of hardship, you are someone who can be counted on. Nobody operates independently in the Marine Corps. Scout sniper teams, reconnaissance teams, at a minimum, always go out in pairs, typically in four or six-man teams. When you're in, in an environment where you're conducting military operations in a foreign country and there's a lot of risk involved in carrying out those operations, you quickly learn to depend on the Marines around you. Marines make a living in the Marine Corps taking care of the Marines to the left and right. And that carries over to the civilian world and the community. When Marines go home and they're coaching their daughter's softball league, their son's baseball team, that carries over exponentially. Just being a normal family man, being a father, being a husband, uh, my family depends on me to do the right things, to provide to take care of business at home, too. He does everything that he can for anybody in any time of need. He's always there for people. And just, he's the classic Marine. I love you guys a lot. Two more months. And I think that's the main quality that you need in a friend and also a Marine. It's just, he has your back, no matter what. You aren't going to have anyone looking over your shoulders, telling you what to do it, how to do it, when to do it every time. Your commander will task you to do something. Uh, he won't give you specific, but just in general, hey, get this done, and leaves it up to you. Even out in the civilian world at jobs, people want to be led. 
but nobody wants to lead. But we teach our recruits, once they become Marines, they lead. Fire! When I think about the people that, that really stood out in my time in the Marine Corps, or the people that stand out now in my current job, you know, it is people who move quickly and are willing to take the initiative to identify a problem and an issue and step up to be proactive to go solve it. You need to be able to see what the challenge is and you take on the responsibility of that uh, challenge and you use your initiative to accomplish it. Decisiveness is an important leadership trait in the Marine Corps because you have to be able to rapidly think on your feet and be able to accomplish any mission. Contact right, contact right! Sometimes you are faced with very challenging decisions in reference to your daily duties, in reference to what's right and what's wrong. I'm always taking charge. I'm always the one that says, you know what, I'll make the decisions even if they're tough. They depend on me. I'm, I'm their platoon starter. I got to lead them through. Shut up! Come here, let's go! Alright, let's go! You not only have to think in terms of the mission that you have to carry out, you're also constantly thinking about the, the safety of your Marines. Do you understand? Yes, sir. When you're faced with a decision, you have to make a decision. Right, wrong, or indifferent. The worst decision in the world is to do nothing. The decisions that you make are true life and death decisions. The decisiveness that you get as a Marine, it absolutely will last with you forever. During an enlistment with the Marine Corps, you're going to be exposed to a lot of people, and you're going to have to learn to deal with the differences that they bring. And to do that, you're going to have to learn tact. In some cases, I deal with Marines that are, that are at much higher levels than I am, and we may have professional disagreements. And at that point, as, as me as a young staff sergeant, it's, it's my job to express my professional opinion to them in a manner that's respectful. It was necessary for me to reach back uh, into my experiences as a Marine and bring forth all of those skill sets when dealing with the public, when dealing with my own peers. You have to be able to work with your coworkers, whether you like them or not. You have to be able to work with uh, defense counsel, whether you like him or not. Tax plays into all of that. We always go with the old adage that, you know, to get respect, you have to give respect. And I absolutely believe that. Not everyone sees eye to eye on things. Sometimes you may disagree with somebody. But the way that you confront that individual or individuals on a disagreement will tell a lot about the person that you are. Integrity is uh, doing the right thing when no one's looking, being able to follow through. That sense of doing what's right is something that the Marine Corps instills in you from the very first moment. Recruits look up to drill instructors on a daily basis. We went from house to house. If we're setting the example by having integrity, they're going to follow suit. He's always had high integrity, but I think the Marine Corps, again, was able to build upon that because it is part of the Marine Corps culture. I teach these recruits how to be better sons, better brothers, better uncles, just better people in general. He is a leader in the Marine Corps, and he is a leader in our family 24-7, whether he's in uniform or not. He shows integrity every day in um, everything that he does. We're role models. When we do the right thing over there, the civilian populace sees it, and they know that we're there to help, not to hurt. It's just going to make them a better Marine, better leader, and just a better overall person. Anything I do, I do with enthusiasm. Uh, the way I speak, I speak enthusiastically so that my message is passed on to those who I want it to be passed on to, and they obtain the same level of enthusiasm. Having enthusiasm in your unit and having enthusiasm around the recruits is awesome because it spreads that motivation to them and it encourages them to want to keep going and stay in the fight. Enthusiasm, it spreads like wildfire, and people see it. If you're showing that you're not enthusiastic about a certain task that was given to you, it's going to come across as that particular task maybe not being as important as another one, which is definitely not the case because everything we do as Marines is extremely important. The Marines are the few and the proud. We take the individuals who have the mindset to push no matter what, who want this no matter what. If you come out here and you don't love being a Marine and you don't love what you're doing, you're not going to be successful. We have our good days and we have our, our challenging days. And being able to maintain that poise and enthusiasm really sets a hugely important tone for the rest of the organization. 12 weeks. This is it, gents. And it's over. Do not hold anything back. 
We know we are the best, and everyone should exude that same mindset. Bearing tells me a lot about the character of a Marine, whether they can show emotion uh, at the right time, and uh, when it's acceptable, and when it's not acceptable. You know a Marine when you see a Marine. They hold their head high. They carry themselves with such confidence. Bearing was the first thing that I noticed about Joe when we, we first went to family day when he was graduating from boot camp. I had never seen him stand so straight, so attentive to every little fine detail. Awesome! And I thought, wow, you know, that's pretty impressive. Everyone knows me as a Marine just by the way I walk, by the way I talk, by the way I carry myself in uniform. I'm very proud. I can say without question, has been a huge factor in the opportunities that I've had after I left the Marines. I put all my Marines before myself in everything that I do. If they're not eating, I'm not eating. I'm going to eat last. I expect my Marines to take care of their Marines to the left and right of them, as well as they take care of themselves. That's a key part of being a Marine and being effective in combat. Being able to sacrifice anything to make sure that that Marine is well taken care of. Being a drill instructor, we sacrifice to be sure that they are getting the best training available and possible to become a basically trained Marine. Keep the head with the elbows. Keep Keep the head with the elbows. I think that oftentimes we think about ourselves too much, and if, if we all just took a little time to get out and help each other, I think the world would be a better place. I will give of myself whatever time I can to help my kids, the other kids in the community, to become better people. I really think it's important that you, we give back to the community in which we serve. I go to the Humane Society every Sunday and I basically just take all the adoptable dogs and get them out. We also help socialize so they become more adoptable. Thank you. Whether you're in the Marine Corps for four years, 20 years, 35 years, whatever it is, uh, the unselfishness that it breeds in you from day one absolutely will stick with you. If you have the courage and the internal fortitude to put your feet on those yellow footprints and make that journey to be in a United States Marine, I don't personally see what could be a better accomplishment in your life. You have taken the first step to becoming a member of the world's finest fighting force, the United States Marine Corps. Do you understand? Yes, sir! Scream louder! Yes, sir! I was the only girl from my high school who decided to enlist and uh, join the Marine Corps. It's time to let it out! Yes! Just the courage alone um, to go to the world's toughest physically and mentally demanding recruit training speaks for itself. To me, courage is accomplishing a task or mission um, in the face of fear or adversity. Courage isn't the absence of fear, but it's the will to push through that fear. Getting ready to leave on deployment, everyone has that fear of the unknown, but overcoming that fear is the highest standard of courage. Marines often find their courage through their brothers in arms. They might be scared to do something, but they know their brother to their left and their right is relying on them to make the right decision. You know that you have to go in together. The moral courage, when you know somebody's wrong, to just say something to let them know that they're wrong. And sometimes that's a lot harder than the physical courage. To say what needs to be said and do what needs to be done, despite what others may think about you, is definitely looked upon with great respect. All the leadership traits that the Marine Corps requires and demands of all Marines are not only warrior traits, but also citizen values. Everything that you do in the Marine Corps will transition with you once you get out, and they will be applied in all aspects of life. The more you know, the better off you are. Marines go out and fight wars, and their lives depend on the ability to know what they're doing. I can train my Marines and they can learn from what I know and, and hopefully they'll strive to want to seek out more knowledge to make them better and more proficient at their jobs. I didn't know what situation I was going to be in before we went to combat. I wanted to be 100% prepared. I took my own time every day to study everything I possibly would have to know. Adapt, achieve, and overcome, right? Yes, yes, sir. You give them all the tools. Once they go out there, they apply them. And their success is what makes us proud. My MOS in the Marine Corps right now is a motor transport maintenance chief. Initially, I had no idea about mechanics, so I started to learn. I started to learn how to turn a wrench. I started to learn how to 
drop a fuel tank, and that helped me to progress as I went on in the Marine Corps. They become successful. They become people that you want to hire, that you want to run businesses. A well-informed Marine, I mean, that's, that's golden. They tell you the day, first day you start, once a Marine, always a Marine, and they mean it. The camaraderie and the brotherhood that's built naturally through the Marine Corps is something that's untouched anywhere I've ever seen. The Marine Corps leads you to trust one another, and that trust builds the loyalty. Once you establish that connection with one another in combat or peacetime or through basic training, you never forget the individuals that displayed those, those traits. Guys who made friends in World War II, you know, till their deathbed, they were best friends. And it's the same thing in the Marine Corps now. Loyalty for me is not only being loyal to your country, your corps, your unit, and the Marines in your unit, it's being loyal to yourself. Even though I'm no longer an active duty Marine, knowing that my former colleagues are still sacrificing a great deal, putting themselves at risk, it's important for me to, to show that loyalty and supporting their efforts as much as I can. The recon paddle is a tradition among reconnaissance units that I think dates back actually to World War II. Uh, when members of a reconnaissance unit will leave uh, and finish their tour and move on, the other members of that uh, Marine's unit um, we'll come together to build them a paddle. It wasn't just about the six years that I served. It's about how it changed me forever, the transformative experience it was. For me, for the rest of my life, I'll always be a Marine. There'll be a part of me that, that always really cherishes the experience that I had. I've had to operate on two to three hours of sleep a night for days on, days on end. Being mentally and physically exhausted but having Marines depend on me to lead them, to guide them, to do my job so that we can provide fire support in Fallujah. Endurance is very important. To keep going when conditions are tough, when you're exhausted, when you're, when you're expended, you're injured, you're, you're, you feel you can't go on, it's because you look to your right and you look to your left and those Marines on either side of you are going to depend upon you to continue to go. I had a recruit once and he wanted to quit because he couldn't do anything right and that recruit made it through recruit training because he listened to the one thing I told him, which was never quit nor give up. The Marine Corps is constantly pushing you and pushing you and pushing you until the point where you feel like you can't do it anymore and you just want to give up and quit. But once you push through that and then you take a look back and you realize I, I just did that, it's the greatest feeling in the world. It's more than just wanting to go forward, it's that you know that you have to, both for yourself, for your job, for your family, for your friends. That mental ability to drive on is what's made the Marine Corps successful for years and years. The Marine Corps is going to put you in challenging times, whether it be peacetime training or even in combat. If you don't have mental, physical, and emotional endurance, you're not going to be able to accomplish your job.